is my third Arduino project. This is a radio tracking device. So you, you put this object somewhere, say in your house or on your cat, whatever, and this device will rotate and find the position and distance to it. Uh, three main components to it, the actual tracking device, which is based on a, a locator light device here. I've taken apart and modified. There's a couple of stepper motors set at 90 degrees to each other and a motor shield which drives them and there's a, an LCD display uh, and a little port extender which I'll explain later which I use to display the results. Okay so let's go have a look see it working. So I'll set this to scan automatically when it, the device switches on and there's the, there's the first uh, tag that we're trying to detect. So the, the sound you hear is the actual noise that the uh, locator light device will actually uh, emit. So the higher the pitch, the, the closer we are. And the, so that is the actual signal that uh, I measure and uh, work out the, so the distance from that. Okay, so it scans in the XY plane to start with. When it, when it finishes that scan, it, it goes to the three best positions that it found and, and does a, a more detailed uh, measurement for those three and then it will settle on the, the best position for those three and then do a, a scan in the Z plane. Three, it's, it's testing out the three, three positions. So it's found the best position there and now it's doing the, the Z plane scan. Again, it's, it's going to do the three, the three best uh, positions and, and measure, do more detailed measurements of those before settling on one. So this is the position it's basically settled on, which is sort of fairly close to where the object is, and we have the, the distance. Okay, so now I'm going to move move the tag some higher up the uh, top of this door uh, to, to, to my right. And we'll wait for it to start scanning again. tricky to measure a uh, signal coming out of a, a piezo buzzer um, to work out work out the, the pitch because it's all about the sort of frequency of, of oscillation but the, the best thing I, I could find was just to, to average the signal over say 10,000 readings and, and that's that, that average sort of the lower the number uh, the, the closer you are to the actual, actual object. So again, it's testing the, the three best positions. Settled on that one, now it's doing the, the Z plane. So because I placed it above the top of the door it should be should end up pointing at the uh, more upwards. Let's 
possession of likes, so we're, we're done and we can look at the distance. It's just over a meter, which is uh, about right. Okay, so as promised, the three components a bit more detail. So here we have the locator light device with some modification. The locator light device has a switch to switch on and off, switch to start the scanning, and it will make a sound through a piezo sounder to tell you how close you are. So the higher the pitch, the closer you are to that short object. So what I've done is, with those tactile switches that are on and off and scanning, I've got two transistors with associated resistors so I can switch them on and off using the Arduino. And I've also here got a, a voltage divider, because this thing takes three volts and Arduino is given out five volts. The, the actual sounder, I've just taken a feed from the device into a port on the Arduino uh, and just measure the signal coming out of that to, to work out how close we are to the object. The higher the, ob higher the pitch, the closer we are to the object. The <coughs> motor shield is there, uh, somehow soldered together. The motor shield comes from Adafruit, it's fairly, fairly straightforward. It allows me to control two stepper motors and I raided the Lego box but um, the motors are basically attached to each other at 90 degrees. The third component is the LCD display which is fairly straightforward. I've, I've added an, uh, a little board here so I can do the, uh, the contrast adjustment and the backlight as a resistor as well. It's fairly straightforward. This thing here is um, a little bit more complicated. Uh, the reason I've got this is because the, the LCD would normally uh, take um, something like nine, nine ports on the Arduino, but with the, the motor shield I don't have that amount, so what I've done is done a, a sort of a logical port extender, so it just takes the latch data and clock feeds from the Arduino and converts that into eight logical ports. Now to get this to work I've, I've had to modify the liquid crystal library slightly so where there would be a call to digital write I'm making that library call my own version of it which does a, a logical write to the, the ports on this this uh, circuit board and that's this basically a shift register allows me to, to do that Okay, so that's, that's it.